Hey everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101 where we give you fun new rock painting ideas that anybody can create. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get painting. Hello everybody. Um, if you read the caption, we are going to do some fun sweater inspired rocks. These are really cute and they're fairly simple to do and there is a lot of variety that you can do with these designs as well. So I'm going to break down kind of how to lay them out for you today but I would love love to see you guys just kind of take this and run with it um, you can try lots of different uh, designs and patterns with these once you get them started thanks for sharing Sandy I appreciate it um, so let's see here I've got my iPad back here make sure I can see my comments here and we'll be good to go so I've just got some these are white rocks that I base coated um, just base coat out rocks. Any color that makes you think of a cozy sweater color will do. Um, I've got red and green for the holidays and a blue here too for kind of a winter feel. Uh, and you can really do this on any base coated rock. I do have them darker colors because I'm gonna be using white for my design today. Um, I'm sure I'll get asked this a few times as people come in. This is the white pen that I'm using. It's a Signo Uniball. It is like a gel roller style um, pen, but sometimes with the paint pens with the white, it will be a little watery and I wanted a nice fine details with this. So it's just kind of a roller. It doesn't really go very well on skin, but you can see it gives you a pretty nice fine line and it's perfect for these designs that we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna move a couple of these out of the way and here, yeah, we'll start with the blue one. The first thing we're going to do is just lay out some lines on our stone that we're going to create our patterns on. Now I'm using my handy dandy post-it notes like I like to do. Um, I peeled off the bottom one so I am sticky on the bottom. This is a small stack of them though just so I have a little bit of a thicker edge that I'm working with. But that little bit of stick is enough to kind of help hold it in place like so so like when you're drawing it's not going to budge and nudge all over the place i am going to start um we're going to use this edge because we have a nice flatter edge here near the uh, top or bottom however you want to look at it of your rock this also is great because i've got a little spot that i can doodle um, to make sure that my ink is flowing well now i'm not going to go straight up and down i'm actually going to go to slight angle here so that i don't accidentally have any of the white bleeding underneath and then we're going to move it down so we're going to play around with the thickness between our stripes a little bit when we're setting up this design i'm going to do um, a skinny stripe and then a larger stripe and you'll see later um, why we're going to do different thicknesses and like i said once you've seen this you can kind of play around a little bit um, with your design so we're gonna go a little bit thicker here now. The main thing is you wanna to try to keep them as straight as possible. Um, when you're using these pens, just make sure you don't press too hard because you'll actually leave like a little stripe down the center if you press too hard. I'm just laying that paint on top. So I want these two about equal distance apart. And then we're gonna go in and do an, a skinnier one. Now I'm gonna give give a little space for the actual line. So I'm just gonna get these on here. And anytime it doesn't seem like it's rolling out, that's why we got the post-it, we can just doodle, get that flowing again. Here we go. And now we're gonna do a skinny one again. And don't look quite straight there. It's a little forgiving, but just get it as straight as you can. Now, if you have more of a little bit of an arch to your rock, if you don't have flat rocks like this, this post-it will help you curve down the edges as well. You can still create this design. We can go wider again. We're getting close to the bottom of our stone here. Yeah, we got space to do the other side of that one. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're joining in live today, feel free to mention where you're watching from. Is the weather getting cooler where you're at? We are, I would say about 75% of leaves down. <laughs> uh, we're getting cooler, it's kind of toggling. We'll have a few nice days and then a few cool days. But I've definitely worn a couple sweaters already this season. Last line here, and then we'll start our design. All right, there we go. Post it note out of the way there. Okay, so we've got all of our stripes down here. Now we're gonna create our fun sweater design. So in the skinny lines, we're just gonna do simple dots through those. So that's plain and simple, easy to do. If you don't have the paint pen, you could do this with the dotting tool as well. I'm just gonna place these down in the smaller sections here. And keeping them as even as possible, but obviously don't overthink it. Nobody's gonna come out with a ruler and measure your dots to make sure that they're perfectly even. Okay, and then one more here. Okay. All right, now in these bigger sections, we're going to create a snowflake type of pattern. And we're gonna use the center line as part of our snowflakes. Snowflakes have six sides. So that center line is going to be two of our pieces. So say this is our center line. We're gonna create X's like this across our line. And then we're going to create all of the sections of our snowflake so that we have all six sides, Ooh, all six sides. So we're gonna start by placing our X's first. We'll go back and dot them later. So you don't want it to go all the way to the edge because like I said, we're doing little dots at the tips. So leave yourself a little bit of space and you can also use those dots to kind of even your edges a little bit. You do, however, want to make sure that you leave enough space in between your snowflakes because your center line is also part of your snowflake. So if you were equal distance, that's the edge of that first one. So you want to make sure the edge of your second one is at least that far over. That makes sense here. So then we're gonna do our X here. And then once you've got two, you can kind of visually see about how far apart you want them to be. And again, nobody's gonna be coming with a ruler and measuring them out. You can go all the way to the edge of your rock. If you end up with a half one popping over the corner, that's okay too. And then we're going to place them down below and you can decide if you want to alternate like you can put one kind of in between the two above or you can line them up evenly as well a little bit of a bump here on that spot and we'll have one that's kind of going off over here all right, and now we're just gonna add dots to the tip of each of them. Um, Sandy, I saw your question. I'll show it off when I'm done doing this one in between rocks. I'm gonna kind of bounce between, we're gonna do three different designs here. So I will show you up close here. I do have it listed um, above in the link, the supply link. These come in three packs, which is nice. So you buy it once and you probably won't have to buy again for a long time. These little dots just give it just that little extra touch to make them more of a snowflake. And again, you can use those dots to kind of even your edges. See, like this one got a little long, so my dot's gonna go on top of that. And if this one's a little short, my dot can go at the end of it. kind of give you some forgiveness with your design. But see the difference of the dots there? 
Oh, I got really out of focus. Um, see the difference that the dots make between the two lines? Definitely gives it that snowflake look. I'll get these ones dotted here. And then I'll show the pen one more time for you. And there's so many different patterns you can do with these. I have a post-it over here where I doodled so many and I'll show off a couple more of the ones that I've got done as we work a little longer here. Careful on that little bumpy spot. And there we go. How cute is that? And it's so simple to do. That's so fun. Okay, so here, I'll show you again. You'll see these and they come in a three pack, like I said. So if you click the link um, in the description, it's got all the supplies we like um, or I use and like, uh, but it, you'll see it will be a pack of three of them, I believe is what's in there. Uh, but it's kind of a gel roller style. It's kind of got a, the, a ball point to it. So they work pretty good. Um, you can doodle them off every once in a while. If you work directly on rocks, they can get dusty. So make sure you're doodling off the tip of them. So, all right, rock one done. And I have another one, see, Bing. <laughs> that we have there as well. And let's do, I'll show you on a different, so this one's a little bit more of a vertical shaped rock. So we'll go ahead and do this one next. So I'm gonna grab my post-its again. And let's start on this side, cause it's, I try to find one line that's kind of close to straight to get nice and close to, and then you just, once you got one line down, you just keep working with that. So we're gonna, again, I hold it slightly at an angle so that I'm the metal is what's pressing into the paper. It will help from uh, any of that ink getting under and you getting kind of that fuzzy looking line. And you can occasionally kind of wipe the edge too in case any of it gets down there. But um, for most of these designs, I do um, like to have one area that's a little bit thicker that you can create something um, bigger, like the snowflake actually has a line in the center of it. I may have to come back and do a second. And you can come back once this stuff dries, you can also go on top of it. Do that line again later. So let's do a little bit bigger section here. And the trick is try not to push down too hard with these because if you push down too hard then you get that ball that rolls right down the center that's what happened on that one let's go back to skinny I'll fix that line in a second. Okay, so we've got our lines down. So for this one, I'm gonna do um, cute little Christmas trees. So we're gonna keep them pretty simple. You don't wanna get too crazy with your design, um, making something that is hard to replicate throughout your sweater um, pattern. So we're gonna start by just doing triangles and I wanna leave enough space at the top so that I can put a little I'm doing a dot. I'm not gonna try to draw a star at the top of them because that would be pretty hard to do this small. Um, if you're feeling like going for it, go for it. <laughs> and then we're gonna try to kind of alternate here. And again, try to keep them about an equal distance apart. You get that fun pattern look to them. That one got a little close. So the taller the rock, the more layers you'll have. The same design. Okay, now we're gonna do a dot at the top and then just kind of two little stripes to kind of give it a look like they maybe is a couple strings of lights on them. Now, 
for the in-between, you can kind of decide. That. Like I said, there's a lot of different kind of styles and patterns that you can do within these. I like to keep them kind of line work because a lot of this style to me is like, reminds me of it being like stitched. So I'm gonna do X's all the way across. I'm gonna leave one space plain and then I'm gonna do X's the one below. So we're just gonna start here and start creating these kind of X's. Reminds me kind of like a, a cross stitch pattern. Very loose one, I guess you could say. So we're gonna fill in. These with this cross stitch or X type pattern I'm gonna do here, even though it's kind of falling off. So sweater pattern number two. I have another one of those here. So what do you guys think? You think you guys can accomplish these to do these? These are fun. And like I said, once you see, it's like once you get your line work down, you can really mix and match it up. I told you, like, look at I've got this whole post-it note of all these different little pieces and designs and ways that you can add stripes. Um, you can just mix and match. Like this is the red first one that I did. I just mixed and matched a whole bunch of different designs and styles. So it doesn't have to have like a picture in it. So that's what I'm going to do for this last red one. It's kind of more of a freestyle, if you will, um, design that you can do. I might actually, I've got something I wanna sneak in the center of this one because I think it's kind of fun. Um, so this one doesn't really, well, I guess this is kind of a flatter edge. I was going to say it doesn't have a really flat edge to start with, but I think this will do right here. So we'll do one more. And then I hope to see many, many more fun ideas and designs left in the comments. Um, after you guys get a chance to give these a try because I think they're super fun. You can make them very seasonal and holiday or you just make them winter, like these cozy, you know, sweater weather rocks. They don't have to be Christmas. You could write Merry Christmas in the middle of one of these if you wanted to. Um, and make that a Christmas sweater. On this one though, I wanna make these little, this snowman design, uh, cause I played around with it a little bit and I was having a hard time getting it visually to where I liked it and I, I did figure something out. So I thought maybe I'll, I will do that on one of these rocks. I haven't done it on a rock yet, just on my post-it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a two tier snowman. So we're gonna start with the bottom circle here. And then a smaller circle on top. Start on the side of smaller. You can always make them larger. And then once you've got a good gauge of the size you want, then start repeating him. And we're gonna space them apart a little bit. Uh, that's so that we can come back with these little snow dots in a moment. Okay, now in between each one, we're gonna do a V of dots. So it'll kind of look like snow flurries in between our snowmen. Ooh, that doesn't make sense right there. There we go. Just 
little water on a Q-tip. All right, we'll come back and add those dots later. So you've got that little design there. Um, and then we're gonna just do, let's see here. Let's do, we can do up and down stripes here. It's kind of like a, I don't know what you would call this. I'm not a stitcher, can you tell? A ladder stitch is what came to my mind. Looks like a ladder, sideways ladder. Yeah. Like and I'm going to do, I don't know if I want to do snowman again here or if I want to just keep mixing it up. I think I'll do another layer of the snowman on this one. I've got all the rest of these repeating patterns going on. And we're done, you guys. What do you think? I haven't, I was really nose down. There's a lot of little details to these. So if you had any questions, feel free to ask them again. I have my face up again now. But aren't these the cutest? I want to put them on plain white paper so you guys can just see them all. Whoop. So let's come back in here. So we've got our snowmen, our snowflakes. So again, if you want to just mix and match patterns, that's what this one is. You can just play around. These are all different patterns that you could use on your in-between lines as well. Um, so I've got a few more I'm going to be doing but I don't need to do any more live, I don't think. But what do you think? Will you give these a try? I hope you guys do. Again, if you do, please come back and share them in the comments. I love, love, love to see them. But they just, they make me feel like they're nice and cozy rocks. You could put something really um, warm on the back, <laughs> pun intended, right? Um, but this is definitely something that you guys can do. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'll be back next week with something else live. One last time for anybody that's still sitting around. This is the pen that I used. It's in the link above. Um, you can find them on Amazon. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And I will be back next Thursday with another fun rock painting tutorial for you. Bye-bye.